have to remember. This presidency is going to make Jimmy Carter's footprint. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get into too much more trouble. Uh, somebody asked me, and, you know, I played my first six years in Chicago, and uh, you know, I had a pretty good career, and then I almost got tired of me shipping out to Philadelphia for two years. A lot of people, somebody came up to me, a lot of people probably didn't know I played in Philadelphia, but don't feel bad, because the people in Philadelphia didn't know I was there for two years. <laughs> So at the end of uh, my end of the two years, I came back to my home in Chicago and I decided to retire from football. Uh -oh. I was finished. I had another job. I was making enough money. Uh, I had a family. I had a home. I had a, everything was pretty good. And I really had retired. In my mind, I had retired. And I got a phone call about, uh, oh, I think it was December 28th. And here's the way the call. I answered the phone. I said, hi. He said, Mike, he said, this is Tom Landry with the Dallas Cowboys. I said, go He said, Mike, I'm fine. He said, I don't know if you can play football anymore or not. But I just trade for you. Wow, you know, that wasn't very inspirational. <laughs> 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 but before I could say anything, he said, but I'm willing to take a chance on you if you'll take a chance on yourself. Well, I made a long story short. I went to Dallas and got the best shape of my life. And I became the best football player I ever was. Dallas Cowboys, because I became a team player, and I cared more about the success of the team and the organization than I did about myself, and that's true. Because when I was young, it was fun to catch passes and make touchdowns, and I got pretty full of myself for a while. And, uh, and when I got down to Dallas, I played with a lot of great guys. But Tom Landry, he hired me at that time for no reason. I had a great career there, we won Super Bowl there. And then I got into the kind of nightclub business with some people down there, and we had these, oh, I don't know, bar, nightclub, I don't know how you call them, but they were, they were interesting. I said, a lot of women, I know that. 